Hello one and all and welcome to Sinful Gaming. I am ill as hell today, but that has not stopped me from making a video for you guys. Today we will be showing you how to create a dark RP server using the uh, Gary's Mod server that we already have built. Okay, so from this step you should... Okay, let's just get off that. From this step you should already have a Gmod folder with your Gary's Mod server loaded up. Um... So far, we haven't done anything with this uh, properly. We're still on Gary's mod. We still have the GM construct. So today, I will show you firstly how to start a dark RP server, um, and then secondly, I will show you how to uh, get a um, find and download a RP map and then put it onto your server. Now, then, for this, you're going to need a specific program called GMAD Extractor. Um, I've already got it in my Gmod Tools folder. Um, a good idea to get a Gmod Tools folder, by the way, because I've got my Gmod Extractor, I've got my Steam CMD, I've got some scripts, I've got my tests, I've got everything in this little folder. So it's always going to have a little dash by here. So what we're going to do, for the purpose of this, we're going to download Gmod Extractor. If you go over to Google, if we just do that, start up Google, type in Gmod Extractor, it's already there click and download simple and then you should come in a zip file open up the zip file extract all this to your your uh, gmod tools folder doesn't matter where you can start up your own little folder for it it's completely up to you because we already have this um, I'm not going to put it in there but it's right there these are the three files Okay, so we're going to leave that for the time being, and we're going to get straight into putting on, uh, get straight into putting Dark RP onto our server. Okay, grand. Right, so if we go over to our local disk, Gmod, Gary's Mod, Game Modes. This is where we're going to put our Gmod, uh, our Dark RP game mode in here. So if we just leave this for a second, go to Google Chrome, type in Dark RP into Google. And then we're going to go to this GitHub page by here. Okay, once we click on this, um, some people decide to do it through uh, Turtus, uh, Turtoise C CS, uh, SVN, whatever, all this kind of stuff. Instead, I am going to just download the zip. So just download the zip, Dark RP Master, here we go. Open it up, Dark RP Master. Here we go, we just put, just click and drag this into our game modes. Simple as, change the name of it from Dark RP Master, just Dark RP. And voila! That's, that's it. That's pretty much it. Now nah, I joke. We have Dark RP into our server. Now that's great. But now what we've got to do is actually make it so when the server starts up, we actually have Dark RP loading up onto the, um, uh, loading like by default. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back onto our Gary's mod, uh, sorry, Gary's mod. Um, we're going to go to uh, our config and then auto exec config. I'm going to open this up and just type in game mode uh, dark RP. Save. That's all we're going to do. Okay, so now if we click start bat, we should look on the watchdog if it decides to load up somewhere on here now once it's uh, done this original little bit by here there it is changing game mode to dark rp so now if we wait for all this to load up i can then show you what i can then show you what it's uh, like Okay, there we go. VAC mode secured. Find multiplayer game. Local network. This even comes up as Dark RP now. My seri my my badass Gmod server. If we just join that now. Okay, well that was a pain in the ass a little bit. I've literally just had to wait quite a while just to download a um, a sound which comes with Dark RP. Um, that's okay, but 
Never mind, I just paused it. Blah blah blah. Okay, if you notice by here as well, we all have we have um this bit of extra which won't even load up. There's a little bit of extra code by here now. The the logs which is all our dark RP weapons and stuff. Now then obviously here we are. We are technically in a dark RP server, if you can notice. I have my keys, my pocket, my arrest button, my unarrest button and all this kind of stuff. This is because I am an admin. So I have all this kind of stuff. Um Press F4 as you're doing Dark RP, and here's all our default stuff. Works perfectly. I can become a police officer if I p wish to be. Boom! Simple. Okay, now as you notice, when I first joined up, if we check the console and game, we have this giant ass bit by here. Counter Strike is not mounted. Now, then, a reason, now a bad thing with Counter Strike not being mounted is if I try and drop some money. Drop. Oh shit. Okay, so I, that worked. Drop money 300. There we go. So now, if you notice, there's some money floating by here. Now, you can pick it up and it is literally stuck there. This is because Counter Strike isn't mounted. And if you notice, as we look over onto the console now, we have this by here, which is an error in Dark RP. Now the reason for this is because, yeah, we haven't got Counter-Strike mounted, so if we just leave that, close the server down. Um, <coughs> what we need to do is we need to mount Dark RP. No, we need to mount Counter-Strike. So it's always advised if you're going to start up a Dark RP server, or if you're just going to get guys in general, you need Counter-Strike source. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to mount this on it real quick because it is quite vital. So right, if we go to our local disk, program files, uh, Steam, Steam apps, common, and then look for Counter Strike Source. There we go. All we're going to do is copy this folder here, the C Strike folder. We're going to go back to our local disk into our GMod, and then just put it here within this first. Uh, directory, just paste it in. Okay, now it might take a little while depending on your uh, system, but yeah. Okay, so that's done. Okay, right, so um, there is ways you can uh, do this without actually having the, um, which I actually having to buy Counter Strike. Um, there are a lot of ways which you can do it. Some are illegal, some are like not. But either way, as long as you get the C strike folder put in, then you should be fine. Okay, so now we've got to mount it. So if you go to Gary's mod, config, uh, mount.config, by here. Okay, so now we open up this little piece by here. This will now show um, bits of other games which we have got uh, mounted. So now we'll see this part by here. So this is our C strike mount. Now at the moment it's not active because we have the two uh, slashes in front. So what I'm going to do is get rid of these two slashes and then change this directory to our Gary's mod folder. So C colon forward slash G mod forward slash C strike. Save. And that's it. That's now mounted Counter Strike. And it's as simple as that. Okay, so the last part of this tutorial is I'm going to show you guys how to get a RP map mounted onto the uh, onto the server. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to find, um, say, RP Downtown. Alright, so we're going to open up Steam, go to the workshop, and I'm going to type in RP underscore Downtown. Uh, we'll just be a bit more specific. Map. Um, okay, so RP Down Down version 2. Let's just steal this one for the hell of it. Actually, no, V4C. We've got a V4C. Okay. So now we have subscribed to this, which means whenever we start up Gary's mod now, it'll load up and download it. Blah de blah de blah. Okay, so what we're going to do now, if we just close down this, um, 
this is being a douche. Never mind. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to Gmod Tools. Open up Gmod Tools. And open up Gmod Extractor. This little console box will pop up. And then this will pop up. Now then what Gmod Extractor does is when you first download a an add-on for Gary's Mod. Go to our Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Gary's Mod, add-ons. You'll get them in this uh, like format, a GMA file. Now what GMAD does is it takes this file and then just extracts it. Simple. So what I'm going to do is browse, go to our Gary's Mod, uh, go in, yeah, Steam Apps, Common, Gary's Mod, add-ons and now we're going to look for that downtown now if you notice with me I got a lot of add-ons but um shouldn't shouldn't cause much of a problem okay so here all right we're going to use downtown v4c yeah or whichever one you please sorry for the person that's going down use downtown v4c open and here it is by right here click on downtown v4c select and now you see that we've opened up the maps okay just click extract all and put it I, you, I personally put it back in my gmod tools folder so I've got another one here called gmad with my maps by here so just click on gmad select folder add and extract successfully go to our gmod tools uh, click on our Gmod folder, maps, and here they are. Well, these ones shouldn't be here. They're ones that I downloaded in the past, so we'll get rid of those. So this is what you should get. These are the fi these are the the files that were with that map. So what I'm going to do is just copy this, copy our BSP file, go to the local disk, Gmod, Gary's mod, take it to maps, and then just paste. Okay. Now that it means that this fold, this um, this map is now put into our f uh, put into our server. So what we'll do is we will take the name, copy, go back to Gmod. We'll right click on the start dot bat, edit. We'll take the map and paste that in. So map is now RP downtown v4c. Save. Fantastic. Okay, so keep in mind though, um, we've just added a we've just added a uh, an external file to our server. Okay, so this is our external file. Now one piece of warning is when people are going to join up this server now, they may not be able to connect because they have this because they don't have this map. So they're missing the map file. Same with any add-on. If you have an add-on other than ULib and ULX, if you have an add-on that affects them, so say a player model or a weapon or anything like this, they may not be able, they won't be able to actually see it or use it because they haven't personally downloaded it themselves. Now the two ways you can do this is by going, by creating fast downloads or Steam Workshop download like um, files or personally getting them to download it through a collection which I'll show you in another video. Um, but yeah, okay, let's try this out. So we'll go to our start.bat. Whilst we're doing that as well, we're going to load up Gary's mod. Ah, damn it. Okay, now if you see by here as well, yeah, we're still on Dark RP. Um, Gary's mod is not responding. That's uh, that's always a plus. Okay, let's just wait for this to uh, finish loading itself up. Okay, VAC secure mode activated. Find multiplayer game, local network, dark RP, and here it is here. Map name is RP Downtown V4C. Join the server. 
retrieving our server info okay so we've just joined in close oh, oh my god and look at that we are actually in the server but for some reason I can't move oh there we go yep now here we are with a really horrible looking version of downtown so yeah this is pretty much it oh I've got all my that's why I've got all my packs all still put on. But yeah, here we are. And we have all our stuff like this as well. So this is how to download a dark RP server and how to make your and how to put your map onto it. Um, in another video I will show you guys how to make those Steam Workshop fast downloads and all this kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, until next time, I will see you around. Thanks for watching.